This is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I'm dressing two of my reborn girls into um, two really stunning dresses that my shoe fairy Jan gifted to me for my birthday, and that I just did a video of yesterday. And so um, as I looked around my collection of girls, I decided on um, Princess Adelaide for this particular dress. And then um, the lacy dress will be on one of my other little babies. So, uh, but I wanted to show you Princess Adelaide first. She is, um, what I did was I dressed her all up so that, because uh, I didn't think I'd have enough time to do, you know, to, to dress both girls, but I wanted to show you how pretty she looks in this dress. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And um, I found, uh, I had these little, oh, they're um, a sparkly um, shoes. They're like unicorn shoes. They're sparkly and they kind of change color in the lighting. And then she's also wearing these um, like a lavender colored socks that match the lavender um, that's in her dress. And so um, I'm really, really happy with uh, how this dress fits her. I think she looks perfect in it. And I did find some little satin or little organza um, diaper covers to go with the dress too. So um, anyway, she's all dressed up and she's as pretty as a princess <laughs> and she's even got her princess crown on and oh, and she's also wearing um, these little lavender bows that have, um, they also have like a sparkly bow in there. And so she's all sparkly today and she's pretty happy about being a pretty little princess. So, uh, Jan, I hope you are um, okay with um, who I chose to wear this dress. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and put her down. And I'm going to bring up the other baby girl that I'm going to get changed into the lacy dress. And, of course, I couldn't leave this one out. <laughs> my little Zoe. She's my newest. And... Um, she is going to be wearing, and let me show you the dress. She's a little petite little thing, and uh, I thought this dress would look amazing on her. And because it's a petite little dress. And so this is the dress that I'm going to be putting her into, and it also came with some satin, uh, a satin diaper cover. So I think she's going to look really precious in this, and um, that white, the color of uh, white is going to go with her uh, beautiful skin tone. And then um, here's her little her little kitty. Yeah, that's her special little kitty. And so these are the, sh the shoes that I chose. They are like um, a sky blue patent leather shoes. And um, I wanted to match up the, the bow in the dress. And so it's going to have these these little shoes. And then um, these tiny little lacy socks, get lace on them. And then this is the hair bow that came with the dress that matches the, um, the, the bow in the dress. It's um, elastic uh, lace. And then this bracelet came with the dress as well. And so it says, um, made with love on both sides of the heart. So I thought that she would look really, really, really cute in this dress. And um, she's tiny tiny enough to fit into it. Um, it is a small dress. And so I thought that she, um, you know, as petite as she is, that she would fit into that one really well. So um, what I need to do now is I'm going to put um, the little Gale doll. I forgot to put the little Gale doll down. Uh, with uh, Princess Adelaide. So I'm going to put you on hold for just a second while I do that. Okay, so now I have little Zoe all set up um, and ready to change into her, into her dress. 
and um, I'm really glad that I'm going to be putting her in this dress because this dress right here <laughs> is one that um, she just looks adorable in and I didn't want to take it off of her. I was just going to leave it on her for a long, long time. But um, since I got this gorgeous dress, uh, this gorgeous lacy dress, I decided to um, change her into that one. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started and I'll take her little kitty and put it aside. And, um, yeah, but she looks really cute with this uh, rose hair bow, too. I love that. But let's go ahead and get her buttons undone. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, yeah, both of these dresses are for my, um, my wonderful shoe fairy friend, Jan Binkley. And um, she sent them uh, for my birthday. I got them in the mail uh, yesterday. And uh, I just really appreciate that she sent them. Um, she went to the Kansas Doll Show and has been super, super busy. And so I don't know how she found time to do it, but um, thank you so much, Jan. I really appreciate you finding time to send me birthday gifts and a beautiful birthday card and everything. So what have I been uh, up to? Well, first of all, I wanted to say happy birthday to Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies. Today is her 70th birthday and um, she has had quite um, quite a fun birthday and uh, she's been getting uh, lots of beautiful gifts um, she's been getting gosh if you see her um, her video from today she's got gorgeous uh, gorgeous uh, bouquet bouquets should I say of uh, flowers and um, yeah, so happy birthday, Suzanne. Um, she said that she was going to be going to the cinema today with um, her younger son, uh, Conrad, whom you all know. And uh, so she's going to be wa uh, watching a movie on her birthday, too, and having some yummy ice cream. <laughs> so have fun with that, Suzanne. And again, happy birthday. So what have I been up to? And that is um, I have been a busy bee. Um, Speaking of the Kansas Doll Show, Busy Bees. Uh, so yesterday I did, I actually did some physical hard work. Um, about a couple of times a year, I replace the hay that I uh, put in there for my two cats. And uh, my two cats are named uh, Ginger and Bella. And they are sister cats out of this, you know, out of the same litter. And anyway, uh, they love the hay, and because it keeps them warm, it keeps them warm um, during the winter time when you know uh, when it's snowing and chilling and all that stuff, and also just you know during the um, the spring and summer, you know, and fall whenever we have um, nights that are kind of chilly, they just burrow into that hay, and um, it's an instant warmth for them. So. Uh, my husband has some fields that he mows, uh, and what happened with um, with the hay in this particular field was that uh, it's not our usual hay field. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put her bloomers on first because it's a see-through dress, and um, I want to make sure that I have the satin underneath that's showing instead of her diaper. This is really a nifty idea on how to... Um, attach bloomers to a hanger. Let me show you. So what the, this, um, like I said, this is from the Kansas Doll Show, and what this um, person did that was silly in the dress was she put some paper clips on either side, and then she hung pins. I'm always looking for, you know, for uh, new ideas about how to arrange and organize things, and so this is really a neat idea. And these two bags that are hanging here, this one was uh, the bracelet that I showed you, and the other one was the flower um, headband. So that's really a cool idea. But um, but anyway, so um, so yeah, my uh, my husband had mowed some hay um, out of one of the um, one of the fields, and uh, the problem is is that it had been raining, and he couldn't get to that field for a while, and so the hay or the grass was super, super tall. And so um, 
when he mowed it, he happened to mention it to me that it was really nice, tall hay. And I, and I just thought, oh gosh, I would love to have that for the kitty barn, you know? And, um, so he, so yesterday he, he took the four wheeler and he gathered it all up and, uh, brought it down to the barn for me. And, um, Gosh, I had to get rid of the old hay first, you know, with my rake and my broom and everything else that I could think of to push the old hay out and um, put the, the new hay in. But um, but anyway, we, you know, we worked together on it and um, he put the new hay inside and then I, you know, raked it all around and made the, the kitties um, a really nice little bed, a little warm hay bed. So... They are all set for the winter. And I'll tell you what, you guys, um, this dress, this dress fits her perfectly. I mean, it was like this dress was made for her. Oh my gosh. And uh, let me tell you about the bloomers too. You know how, um, I don't know if you noticed, but the bloomers go way, way up. I mean, they really do. They go way, way up like that. <clears throat> What's nice about it, see, she can't really wear um, like a onesie underneath because of the fact that it's got no uh, no sleeves. But what's neat is that she doesn't need a onesie because look at this. I mean, you know, the the um, the bloomers show. You can see the satin bloomers through the lace, and it goes all the way up to her waist. And if that isn't a perfect little dress for her, oh my goodness sakes. Oh, I love that. Um, she fits perfectly, perfectly in this outfit. Wow. So Jan, you did good, my shoe fairy. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, I don't know if you had this, uh, had Zoe in mind for this dress, but um, it was almost, it was just like it was custom made for her. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and put her um, shoes and socks on. And I'm going to go ahead and the, sh the socks that she was wearing, um, I'm going to go ahead and put those back on her because I really, really love them. They have little uh, pink bows and a pearl right in the middle. And then, you know, it's got the uh, lacy edging. And I just think that these are just um, perfect for this, for this dress. So I'm going to do that, put those back on her. My goodness sakes, this fits her so well, you guys. So this is a dress that I'm not going to be able to take off either. But um, obviously, she, you know, I'm going to have to dress her in um, a winter or like a fall outfit come fall. Or I could just put like a sweater, you know, a little, a little white sweater over this outfit. I don't know. All I know is, is that wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. So here's her... Um, Here's the rest of her accessories. And I'm going to put her bracelet on. It looks like their bracelet's going to fit really well, too. Let me see. Yes, it does. So, so cute. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see. These are, um, these are um, uh, Velcro, so it's nice that I don't have to worry about trying to get that little buckle um, undone and then done back up again. So yeah, I don't have very many um, little tiny dolls that these shoes fit, and so this is um, these will be perfect for her, for her tiny little feet. And then what's uh, amazing about these bloomers is, you know, she's got chunky legs, but the bloomers were, you know, perfectly made for her chunky legs. And like I said, it goes all the way up, like to past her waist. All, all the way up to like the crochet so you can see um, the satin underneath all the way and I think that the person that made this dress had that in mind because it's see-through and they wanted the satin to be able to show through you know such an amazing amazing style and um, lace and satin my gosh love it love it love it love it okay little one I'm gonna go ahead and sit you up and her hair, like I say, all I do is just finger, finger fluff it. Beautiful brown eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with her. She is just, she's got fuzzy, fuzzies right there. Um, let's go ahead and put her bow on. 
So remember um, a few videos ago when I talked about a surprise that I had coming? Well, I just found out that my surprise is going to be here next week. So, um, and I'm not going to give you any more hints. I already gave you one hint that was a major big hint. And I'm looking forward to getting the surprise. It's really, really exciting. And um, I'm excited to share the surprise with you guys. So, anyway, uh, be looking for that video um, early next week. So, here she is, you guys. Look at how adorable she is. Wow. Love her in white. Love her in that pale blue. You know, it seems like every color that I'm putting on her, um, it really, really goes well with, with her skin tone and everything. So I'm very, very pleased. Look at that cute little bracelet. So dainty. And then there's her little shoes. And then there's her uh, satin bloomers. Wow. So uh, just real quick, for those of you that are um, interested in hearing about Frankie, uh, Frankie's doing well. He's still, I'm still keeping him in the house. Um, he's still a house pet and um, he's doing, he's doing really well. He's, he, he and I are learning uh, our way around <laughs> uh, living with the turkey. And so um, what I, one thing that I'm learning about him is if he uh, starts like, say, for example, I have my feet up on the, on the, uh, my stool and he starts pecking at my socks. Well, if I just let him peck at my socks, he'll only peck a few times and then give up because he's bored already, you know. And it used to be that I would try to flick him off and everything. But um, I'm learning that uh, when he starts, you know, getting into something or doing something, that if I just let him do it, he'll get bored unless he gets, um, you know, kicked back from me. So um, anyway, we are getting to know each other very well. And he's doing very, very well. So anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed seeing um, sweet little Zoe. And I'm going to bring Princess Adelaide back up again as well. So that I can show you both girls in their gorgeous dresses. There she is. So Jan, I hope you're okay with um, with who I chose to wear the the dresses that you um, that you sent for my girls. And um, thank you so much again. They are, I mean, the two girls that I chose, I think, just look absolutely amazing in them. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and get her little her little dolly too. So thank you everyone for stopping by and for um, visiting me. Um, today was Best Dress Sunday and I wanted to make sure that my little girls are dressed in their best. <laughs> so have a wonderful rest of your weekend and um, until we meet again, bye bye. Mm -hmm.